Hello. It's been a while since I've taken you on my par walk in the contemplative forest and making a detour to our private place here, the interminable pathway. It goes on forever in your mind. And here is where I discuss biocognitive topics and news and things that are of interest to you. And we even have a bench here waiting for you to sit and enjoy the quiet water. And this is our private place. Today, I'm going to talk about disappointments, a part of life where people don't do what you expected. Things don't happen the way you want it. Those are just part of life. But there are some disappointments that you can control by using the method I'm going to show you. And those of you who follow my work know that behaviors are not supported by reinforcement. That's for rats. Human behavior is supported by terrains of meaning, the hidden meaning that supports the behavior or that feeds the behavior. And disappointment is no exception. The terrain for disappointment is placing value in the wrong places. And you have to think about that and let your brain come up with the insight. So disappointments are opportunities to reflect on where you place value. So if you're placing value on people that are not valuable, there's disappointment. If you place value on things that are not necessarily great for you, then there goes the disappointment. And now that you get the terrain, I suggest that you do an assessment of your pattern of disappointments and where are you misplacing value? Value needs to be placed on reliable, worthy people. Places that support your worthiness and your growth. And conditions that are going to enhance the quality of life. So, evaluate where you're putting your value. Reflect on it. And you're going to find that you have control of most of the disappointments that have nothing to do with the order of life. So enjoy, and remember, disappointments are opportunities to reflect on where you place value. Enjoy, and now back to my walk in the contemplative forest. Enjoy, and read my new book, The Phoenix Self, you're gonna love it. It's a novel that teaches you more about longevity than any gerontology can. Read it and grow.